Everyone these days want everything fast. We want to be rich fast, we want to be famous fast, we want to study fast, finish the syllabus fast and top the exams fast. Trust me, I do too. But did you ever try to deconstruct this, you know, how to become fast thing and look at it objectively, particularly from a student's perspective? Let me ask you a question. What do you think is more important for success on exams? Is it speed or accuracy? See, I know we need both, but you know, just for the sake of choosing, if you would have to choose one, which one will you choose? If you say speed, then let me tell you my story. But before I do, if you're new here, hi everyone, I'm Dr. Basali, a full-time orthopedic surgeon in the faculty of orthopedics and also a part-time YouTuber. So this is my story. See, when I first appeared for my grand test, so for people who don't know what a grand test is, it's a test where all the subjects are tested together. So it has an enormous celebration with a lot of questions. So the first time when I took my grand test for my PG entrance exam, uh, I guess I was in my internship. So when I attempted this test, uh, I couldn't even finish reading the whole paper in the stipulated time, let alone getting a good rank. But my contemporaries, my classmates were not only able to finish the paper in time, but some of them were actually even revising it. Same paper same time i was struggling to finish it and they were revising it how was it even possible i was like ye kaun sa badam kha ke aate hai yaar so on the next exam the next grand test i told myself ki i will be fast kuch bhi karke i have to finish the paper fast now how and why i would do it i had absolutely no idea i was just like i have to be fast i had read somewhere ki if you believe in something very strongly na it will manifest wo whole you know mental manifestation wala jugad tha yes bilkul wohi chakkar so before going for the exam i did the mental mathematics 300 questions hai see in those days we used to have 300 questions so 300 questions roughly around 3 hours which means roughly around 40 seconds per question. So, as I got the paper, na, I started reading the question very fast. I tried to be as fast as I could, move to the options, and go there. All the options felt similar. I didn't know what to mark. I figured I, I should read the question once again. Uh, I was like, okay. But the problem was, I was in pressure to read it faster now as I had already committed the 40 seconds to the question. So, I read it even faster now, but I still couldn't answer the question. Look, I'll tell you. See, if this question was something absolutely new and I had never heard about it, now I would have left it. But this question was similar. I had some idea about it. And because I knew it, I felt that I had to answer it. But because I have read this question twice and I was still unable to answer it, I felt I was in this losing game. See, I've already given double the time that I planned for this question and I still don't know the answer. This At this rate, I will not be able to even finish half of the paper. Now, what do you do? So, I mustered the question. courage and read the question one last time the third time and this time i read it slowly and actively thinking what's the question about what does the examiner wants to know from me right which subject is this from what is the topic what is the system what is the disease pathology is talking about and by the end of this question i already had a differential diagnosis in my mind and could straight away rule out two wrong options now although this exercise took more time compared to before i felt i was actually making progress and that's when it hit me in pursuit of speed i wasn't even able to comprehend the question let alone get the answer correct then how are others doing it mere dost kaise kar rahe the that's when i realized ki yaar speed se सिर्फ नहीं होने वाला है एक्यूरेसी भी चाहिए सो सो व्हाट इज दिस डिफरेंस बिटवीन स्पीड एंड एक्यूरेसी एंड हाउ टू वी मास्टर देम स्पीड एंड एक्यूरेसी आर बोथ अमेजिंग एसेट्स टू हैव बट बट दे हैव डिफरेंट रोल्स टू प्ले इन डिफरेंट सरकमस्टेंसेस सी इन केस ऑफ एन इमरजेंसी सपोज इफ यू हैव टू इवैक्यूएट समवन आउट ऑफ अ कार स्पीड इज मोर इंपॉर्टेंट देन एक्यूरेसी नो वन केयर्स इफ यू पुल देम बाय देयर हेयर और लेग्स बट उनको गाड़ी से जल्दी बाहर निकालो बट बट इन केस ऑफ एंट्रेंस एग्जाम्स ना एक्यूरेसी मैटर्स सी इन द एग्जाम यू आर रिवॉर्ड only and only for getting the answer correct no one cares how you get them you can get there slow you can get there fast kuch bhi karke you have to get to the right answer and only then you will be rewarded so what do we understand we understand that in an entrance exam scenario accuracy is more important than speed but does that mean we we can be slow and take forever to answer the questions on the exam absolutely not uh, it just means on an exam accuracy is actually a necessity and speed is an advantage so when you are preparing your priority should be accuracy and if you can reach the correct answer fast then that is a bonus so now you tell me which one do you think has more precedence of course accuracy but then sir what about speed kya kare hum speed ka kuch nahi kar sakte kya see friends speed is actually a by product of accuracy and will always come later let me explain 
See, accuracy is a focused progression or an active progression. It's something you can achieve by doing something actionable. मतलब accuracy के लिए ना you can actually do something. वो आपके हाथ में है. Like learning about something, like knowing the right technique of performing a procedure. Whereas speed ना वो आपके हाथ में नहीं है. Speed is a natural progression or an automatic progression that happens on its own in due course of time. You cannot force it. You cannot achieve speed in short term. It's a byproduct of being accurate. accurate again and again over time so in simple terms in most scenarios speed only comes with time there is no hack or crack for speed speed is essentially you getting faster and faster at being accurate did you understand matlab you have to learn how to be accurate first and then over time when you are accurate enough times again and again you will automatically become faster so speed actually comes after you have mastered accuracy and it's never the other way around that is why you must have heard some senior surgeon saying that they could finish the surgery in half an hour or an hour although i on Honestly, don't encourage this kind of behavior. But they do tend to get popular by marketing their speed, and because they have become so popular because they are fast, inexperienced surgeons try to mimic that speed, but they end up making mistakes. Did you ever stop and think how these senior surgeons got so fast at that surgery? Did you ever see them perform their first case? See, I will tell you. Unless they are genetically engineered or immensely gifted by God, almost all surgeons when they start their first surgery, they will shake. They will. They were holding the scalpel. They struggle to control bleeding, and you know sometimes they are lost in the anatomy. But over time, they they keep on following the same correct steps over and over again, and that's how they become fast at that one surgery. That's essentially the same thing with exams and studying. You just have to learn the correct concepts and practice the same scenarios again and again to get the correct answer faster on the exam. But If you try to be fast your first time around you will always fail. Now here is the interesting thing. See whenever you are learning something new for the first time try to learn it the right way not the shortcut temporary wala jugad way the right way because if you happen to learn something the wrong way and keep on practicing the wrong thing again and again you know what will happen you will only get faster at being wrong and that is why selecting the the right source the right guide the right mentor the right senior the right book based on your level of understanding is probably the most important thing you can do in the beginning so my dear friends if you're struggling with time and are doubting yourself because you're slow remember what i said speed is a by product of accuracy so as long as you're doing the right thing please do not worry about speed it will come in time and in my next video i will give you actionable things that you can do to improve your accuracy and eventually speed so till then take care bye bye